Hi, I'm Brian Seymour, Senior Director with the California Interscholastic Federation. Our topic today is administrative control and understanding the duties and responsibilities of the principal and athletic director. In recent years, there has been a rise in violations caused or created by lack of administrative oversight, affecting student ineligibility, which results in the forfeiture of contests and loss of playoff participation. The principal of each school is the chief administrative officer, is responsible for the administrative oversight for all athletic programs and participants in his or her school. Principals, ADs, and coaches are all responsible to ensure that all of their student athletes meet all of the eligibility standards before they go on the field, court, gym, mat, or in the pool. At no time under any circumstances is an ineligible athlete allowed to compete. CIF Bylaw 22B8 states, as a condition of membership, schools agree to monitor its athletic program and to self-report to the appropriate governing body any violations of state and section bylaws as soon as the school is aware of possible violations. This responsibility extends to all administrators and coaches at the school. Each member school is responsible for the conduct of its administrators, coaches, and athletes, students and parents, and for any knowledge possessed by its administrators. The pol political issues faced when you have to forfeit games due to playing an ineligible player are overwhelming. Your local section office and the state CIF are available to assist you to make sure that your school stays out of those political firestorms. If you have questions or concerns, please don't hesitate to ask for clarification and assistance. We are happy to assist you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. We wish you great success this coming school year.